Welcome back at 918 on your Saturday morning. Today is National Prescription Drug Take Back Day. Officials are providing a safe and responsible way of disposing medications, as well as educating the public about the potential dangers of misuse of prescription medications. So joining us this morning is Emily Murray with the Drug Enforcement Administration. Emily, thanks for taking the time for being with us. How are you doing? Good morning. Thanks for having me. Doing well. Um, so I just want to start, too, with the history of this day. I always talk about it when it comes up every single year, but how did uh, pre National Prescription Drug Take Back Day get started? So Take Back Day started about 12 years ago, um, and it really got started when we saw the opioid epidemic rise to meteoric rates. Um, so this was a way to help people rid their homes of unneeded, unused prescription medications to remove that temptation for experimentation from others. And how important is proper disposal to, I mean, you mentioned the opioid epidemic uh, obviously occurring over the last several decades. So there's a lot of uh, prescription medication that's out there. So, I mean, what's the risk of that being out there and why does that make proper disposal so important? So proper disposal is, as you said, very important. Um, there's research out there that shows, unfortunately, that people who have opioid use disorders, a lot of times they first got started by taking prescription medications out of the cabinet, medicine cabinet of a friend or a loved one. So it's really important for people to get those out. And like I said, avoid that temptation for experimentation. Um, it's just something that we can all do to help our communities. And what's uh, an example of improper disposal, uh, whether that's uh, flushing it down the toilet or I guess what, what are some misconceptions out there with improper disposals? You're right on there when you say flushing it down the toilet. That's one of the things we really don't want people to do. The best thing that you can do is take those prescription medications out to a take back site today, if you possible. And if you're not able to get it out today, then what you can do is go to one of the nationwide year round uh, collection sites. And you can find those on takebackday.com. In Iowa, we have nearly 70 sites set up across the state. And just within the Des Moines area, we probably have, I don't know, around 11 or 12 different locations within a 25 mile radius of Des Moines. So we're hoping that people can get out and safely dispose of those, um, flushing them down the toilet it really all that does is lead to more problems down the line because it creates problems for the environment. So the best thing you can do is take those to a take back day site or to a year round collection site. Gotcha. Some good things to note. What is the proper packaging uh, for these medications and uh, what types of medications are accepted at collection sites uh, close to the metro here? So today what we're taking uh, are all prescription medications that are pills, uh, capsules, pretty much anything that's in solid form. Um, that being said, we can take back liquid medications, for example, cough medicine, as long as it is in uh, sealed up with the, the lid on tight, basically. You know, this is an anonymous program, so people can leave the labels on their prescription bottles if they would like to, or if they would feel more comfortable, they certainly can take those labels off. I have seen people throw their medicines uh, straight into a Ziploc bag and then put that into the collection box, or I've seen people put them in brown paper bags. Um, but this isn't anonymous. I think that's an important thing to stress. This is anonymous. We aren't uh, looking to see who is donating what, so to speak. No, that's good to note. I appreciate you highlighting that too. And uh, just last question for you here, Emily, this morning. We appreciate you joining us. For people that may have prescription drugs to give back, but they can't today, is there other resources people can take advantage of around, around the year? There are. So year round, there are collection sites. A lot of times local pharmacies or your state or local law enforcement agencies will host these sites. Um, so those are great places that you can go. Um, if you're not able to get out today, again, you can visit takebackday.com. You can put in your zip code or you can put in your city and state and you can find those year round collection sites as well as the collection sites that are open today from 10 until 2. Okay. Evelyn Murray with the DEA. Thank you for joining us this morning. You can see some information about the collection sites right there on your screen, but uh, some good information to share with people. So thanks for joining us. Thanks again. All right, folks, we'll be right back when Today in Iowa Saturday returns.